Good morning. I was hoping for better weather this morning. That way we can be outside and near the things that we're talking about today. While we are not outside as originally planned, thank you to everyone for being here as we celebrate the completion of three electric vehicle dual port charging stations at City Hall. I'm glad to be joined here by Treasurer Adam Lane, Executive Vice President of NECA, Kyle McKenna, and Patrick Justice, Electrification and Sustainability Manager at Ameren. We know that climate change is occurring at a rapid rate, and we're feeling the impact right here in St. Louis, from record-breaking extreme temperatures to frequent natural disasters. The consequences of climate change are shaping the future and quality of life for our children and generations to come. Strategic investments in clean energy are one way cities can do their part to shrink the carbon footprint and reduce emissions. As mayor, I recognize the importance of embracing new technology and integrating green solutions into governing our city. EVs are the future of transportation and supporting their use by providing charging stations at City Hall increases accessibility and to clean energy alternatives for fueling. With funding from the Missouri Volkswagen Migration Trust, the Ameren Cost Share Program, and a generous donation from our friends at IBEW and the Electrical Connection, this project is an excellent example of effective public-private partnerships. Use of the charging stations are available to anyone who parks at City Hall parking in the parking lot off of Clark Street. While parking fees will remain, there will be no cost for charging EVs at these stations. These kind of projects also help create good paying union jobs for IBEW Local One electricians trained in a labor partnership with NECA. It's a win-win for working people, our environment, and our entire city. Thank you to our partners and the dedicated city staff who worked hard to make this happen. As mayor, I want St. Louis to win again and that means making investments to address climate change, providing unique workforce development opportunities, and engaging stakeholders from across the region to push our city forward. I am so proud of what we accomplished today, and I look forward to building on this momentum uh, to expand our clean energy efforts. And now I'd like to turn it over to the best treasurer in the land, Adam, Treasurer Adam Lane. Good morning, everyone. Um, I won't echo everything that Mayor Jones said, just to keep it brief, but we do believe uh, that it's critically important for St. Louis leadership to support initiatives that both strengthen our tech infrastructure and also show how in tune our city is with the need to sow sustainable energy options into the fabric of St. Louis. We, as a Treasurer's Office, are very excited to have these EV charging stations on our lot. We know that this has been a demand of the people um, in our region, folks who frequent our events downtown, and employees that are here at City Hall. Uh, additionally, we know that these demands are going to go up as EV charging becomes more popular than it already is. According to Edison Electric, the Edison Electric Institute, there are more than one and a half million EV electric vehicles in the U.S. and by 2030 that number is expected to be almost 20 million. So we know that as city leadership it's very important to stay ahead of this. We don't want St. Louis to be left behind and we're also going to be looking to other initiatives that increase sustainability, or increase the availability of sustainable options for our city, um, both in city government and then also options for those who visit our city as well. So thank you so much and I will turn it over to Colin. Good morning. My name is Kyle McKenna, and I'm excited to be here on behalf of the Electrical Connection, which is a partnership formed by the St. Louis chapter of the National Electrical Contractors Association and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local Union No. 1. Our partnership encompasses numerous cutting-edge electrical contractors who employ over 5,000 highly trained and skilled electrical workers and communication workers 
throughout the eastern half of Missouri. I want to start by thanking our workforce and our contractors, RJP and Burris Electric, who serve as a shining example of what it takes to make a project like this seamless for our industry partners. From site evaluation and preparation, to securing utility incentives, to selecting and procuring the right charging equipment, as well as the execution of the entire installation process, our contractors and workforce stay at the forefront of the industry and are here to lead the charge in transitioning to a future that is based on sustainable energy. And we've been doing it. In fact, it was about 10 years ago that the IBE NECA pioneered the Electrical Vehicle Infrastructure Training Program, or EVITP for short. This year alone, we're projected to train an additional 200 to 300 journey level and apprentice workers, and which will help expand our ever-growing list of electrical contractors who are ready to meet the growing demand to energize a greener future for us all. I also want to thank Ameren, Missouri, because it's their relentless commitment to outreach programming and their incentives that provide the much needed spark to these types of projects to make sure they become a reality and it also increases the rate at which we move to a clean energy future. And finally, I want to extend my sincere appreciation to the City of St. Louis, especially Mayor Jones and Treasurer Lane for their leadership in not only expanding the region's EV charging network, but also for advancing sustainable energy projects. We are embracing the future and serving as a great example to all communities. Without the City of St. Louis's commitment to a cleaner, more sustainable future, this exciting project would have never happened. So on behalf of Nick and IBW, we thank everyone involved for this project, for their partnership, as we believe that there's nothing more important and nothing more powerful than when civic institutions and private industry come together to enrich the lives of those who visit and call this great metropolitan area home. Thank you. Good morning. And thank you, Mayor Jones, and to your team for inviting us to participate this morning. My name is Pat Justice, and I work for Amber, Missouri. I lead our EV team on our electric vehicle program that's part of the chargers that you see out here, the incentives that we offered and you just heard about. Uh, I'm also a longtime city resident, and in that uh, capacity, as well as my role at Amron, I appreciate the city's leadership on clean transportation and what it means for the long-term sustainability of our city and our region. Ameren, Missouri is also planning for a sustainable future, and that necessarily includes clean electric transportation. We're doing this through investments in a smarter, more resi resilient grid, as well as deploying much more renewable energy on our system. But our work is not only in planning for the future, it's also today, like the chargers you see outside. We're making it easier for St. Louisans to go electric when they're thinking about buying a car. And that travel for an electric vehicle includes both local travel, like these chargers will support, as well as long distance travel to go between distances all across our state. You may not know, but there is already a statewide plan to install fast charging along highway corridors throughout Missouri, and more than half of that plan is already completed and serving EVs today. The charging <coughs> corridors enable St. Louis's EV owners to travel long distance from St. Louis to any other point in the state safely and reliably. Corridors have been completed between St. Louis and many cities around Missouri, including Kansas City, Kirksville, Springfield, Cape Girardeau, Jefferson City, and Lake of the Ozarks. And Amherst, Missouri has supported 14 of these sites, and the closest one is nearby at the Lumiere Hotel. You can see one of the fast charging sites there. In addition to the long distance is this local charging that's so important. And so we have available today incentives for business customers that make the installing of EV charging affordable. 
Our Charge Ahead program has already provided incentives and commitments of almost $2 million for projects like the one that we're celebrating today. And we still have $4 million more million worth of incentives for our business customers. The funds are available for virtually any of our business customers, including governments, nonprofit organizations, multifamily apartments, retail stores, gas stations, offices, small business and large business, schools. Virtually any of our customers are eligible. Our business customers are eligible. And these charging stations can be for the purpose of serving uh, the public or the workforce, apartment tenants, or even fleet vehicles that a business owns. And the incentives will also pay up to 50% of the total project costs for purchasing and installing these charging stations. And so today, we want to make sure all of the businesses in St. Louis know that these incentives are available through Charge Ahead. And we hope that they will also choose to support and benefit from the transition to clean electric transportation, just like our city of St. Louis is doing. So again, Mayor Jones, and to your team, thank you for paying attention to sustainability issues for our city and being a leader in our region. Thank you.